Excreted on June 23rd, 2017, Municipal Waste Slime and Punishment comes five years after the band's last full-length release, 2012's The Fatal Feast, Waste in Space. Far from unproductive, our thrashing sanitation workers have further honed their chops with such projects as Iron Reagan, Cannabis Corpse, and Bat, to name only a few. Returning to their regular route with Municipal Waste, however, this newly minted five-piece band realizes a heightened vigor and increased potency on this laser-focused release. 14 tracks of metal thrashing glory, Slime and Punishment kicks off the summer on a righteous pit-stomping foot. Breathing grease and exhaling fire, the hefty thrash of breathed grease hits the ground running with a stiff punch, while Enjoy the Night bounces from the speakers with urgency as the song's final half twists and turns with assured revelry. Forceful and aggressive, a particularly feral waste tear into dingy situations, boasting a relatively epic solo to provide an excellent lead accompaniment to usher in the song's final call. A snarling bass underlines the substantial and quick-paced riffing on Shrednecks. A skipping gallop dominates as the song's final third provides a musical throwdown that is sure to incite some good old-fashioned pit violence. Built around some of the gnarliest riffs in Municipal Waste catalog, Poison the Preacher boasts a hydra-headed riff apocalypse, while a dark and twisted vocal emanating from guitarist Ryan Waste elevates this rollicking thrasher. On Bourbon Discipline, a frenetic guitar churn and Tony Forrest's viciously spit lyrics rage against one another, reaching a hostile and rancorous pinnacle in Bourbon Discipline's closing seconds. Like a fugitive on the run, Parole Violators powers forward with urgency, the song's lurking moments periodically circling until breaking into an open thrashing sprint. Lending its name to the album, track number eight, Slime and Punishment, finds itself at the album's fulcrum. Hitting a mid-paced, thrash sweet spot, Slime and Punishment hits all the marks with strident vocals, surging guitar work, a sinister driving bass, and brief moments of guitar and bass flourishes that punctuate this roiling rager. Amateur Sketch slams the listener with frenzied vocals and incessant riffing for a quick-hitting good old thrash in time, while excessive celebration finds a pulsing bass from landfill, undermining the elevating moments and viciously churning destruction that highlights this brief 1 minute 29 second excursion. An insidious grind and pound opens low tolerance, landfill's bass punctuating the proceedings before getting down to business, particularly strident to start and finish. Low Tolerance offers a short moment of guitar harmony to announce the song's final third, thrashing to its end. Under the Waste Command truly benefits from the addition of second guitarist Nick Pulos. This instrumental journey absolutely crushes with its twin guitar attack, boasting some Mustanian solos and delectable harmonies that elevate Municipal Waste thrash game to new levels. At 2 minutes and 52 seconds, Death Proof qualifies as this album's epic length opus. Once again, Landfill's dominant bass churns underneath Ryan Waste and Nick Pullo's riffing as Ryan Witt's propulsive drumming drives the song like a frantic car chase powering over and through any obstacle. Reaching out from the mausoleum, the Landfill's cavernous bass introduces the album closer Think Fast. Thrashing and raging with emphatic authority, Think Fast closes out Municipal Waste's long-awaited return in barn-burning fashion. Returning with Slime and Punishment, Municipal Waste's first album in five years, our quick-paced sanitation specialists showcase their trademark fervent delivery with razor-sharp production. Punctuated with quick guitar solos and harmonies, the addition of Nick Pulos as a second guitarist allows for some surprising moments of six-string satisfaction. While Tony Forrest's scathing vocal delivery is more forceful and strident than ever, boisterously fortified by the dominant bass work of Landfill and Ryan Witt's timekeeping dominance, Slime and Punishment finds Municipal Waste strengthening their propulsive thrash foundation while finding room for increased musical exploration with brief moments of guitar harmony and solo indulgences from Ryan Waste and Nick Poulos, and a domineering bass display from Landfill bubbles to the surface. A further refinement of Municipal Waste's signature thrash stylings, Slime and Punishment opens the summer on a rollicking kick with 14 tracks of thrashy goodness, an excellent return from these Richmond standouts.